Yeah, I would love to, to understand uh, where we would love to build community into our product and, and, uh, and make it quite central to our business. Uh, and we're trying to think about, do we, do we try to house that directly into the product itself? Do we put it somewhere else, like a Facebook or a Slack or something like that? So I would love your perspective on the, the pros and cons of each approach and, um, and how you've seen folks do it well. Yeah, and, and this is such a great question and, and the answer, it will be, it depends. Um, but I can tell you my perspective. We're not saying every company has to have community. Let me just say that as a disclaimer. Not every company has to have a community-driven company in order to be successful. We're not saying that. We're just saying that for, for again, it's even like going back to the question of how do we know what fundraising vehicle we choose? It's kind of that sort of same thing. Is community something that to you, like it's a values thing, it's a mission thing. So if you have a vision, a mission, uh, and you have the, in, in that mission takes a community and you want to bring in the community and you personally think it makes sense to, to bring them in for whatever reason, then I don't know much, I don't know anything about your business. Then I'd say explore making it and it can be as simple as a Facebook. I mean, Peloton's community is on Facebook. It doesn't have to be like, I created our own platform and this is all it is. Uh, we have, um, we've made actually, we're going on four investments and we've been around for two months ish. Um, and we've had, we have one, one startup that their product is the community. So it is like, they have to have it. Um, we have another company that's more of a platform that allows a uh, community to, to take part within their platform. Um, and then we have, we have a community that has a Facebook group. So the, the communities can look very different. And I think it just comes down to what makes most sense. Some people are more Instagram and Facebook. Some people are more Twitter or LinkedIn or some people are TikTok. I mean, I don't, it, it's, so, it's so contingent on what feels right to you. But what I would go back to is asking yourself, what's your mission? And if you are considering a community, why? Why do you want this? And I, I, I do have a personal opinion on that if you are going to be community driven, that it can't just be a marketing thing. There's people on my team that are just like, it's cool. You know, they still have the community. I'm just like, no, because like if it's about community, then it has to be core to, to, off, to one of the founders um, and for, for it to be a top to bottom type of approach. So there's sustainability and the values alignment is there and so on and so forth. But that's my personal opinion. There's no specific, here's, here's the recipe of how to do it. It's more of like what works best for, for you. So hopefully that gives you some perspective. I'd have to know more to give you more of a customized answer. 